Grazie. Mi aggiungo al Presidente Letta e Barosso eh, nell'esprimire le mie condolianze alle famiglie delle vittime. Questa tragedia interpella la coscienza di ognuno di noi. Ogni vita persa per ragioniere la costa europea per sull'Europa e su ognuno dei suoi abitanti. Vorrei anche esprimere la nostra gratitudine e il nostro sostegno agli abitanti di Lampedusa. Il vostro coraggio, la vostra compassione, la vostra abnegazione sono un esempio che deve ispirare gli Stati membri dell'Unione Europea sulla strada e una vera politica europea dell'immigrazione e dell'asilo basata sulla solidarietà, sulla condivisione e sul sostegno reciproco. I will also now switch to English. Um, I also, like President Barroso said, will never forget the sight of 280 coffins today. I will bear that with me for the rest of my life, and I think they express something um, that we need to think about in the European Union. This is not a European Union that we want. We need to do everything we can to prevent tragedies such as this one to happen again. It calls for EU action. We need to act in the short term, medium term, and long term. In the short term, we have to increase our search and rescue efforts. Yesterday, I was with Vice President Alfano at the Council of Ministers, with Interior Ministers, and we discussed this at length. And we decided to set up a task force led by the Commission involving the Italian authorities, but also other Mediterranean countries, as well as Frontex and other agencies. I proposed to launch a wide search and rescue operation covering the whole Mediterranean, from Spain to Cyprus, so that we can save more lives and detect boats in time, preventing tragedies like the one we saw a couple of days ago. We need quicker tracking, identifying and rescuing boats and vessels. We also need to, to increase, as we are already doing, our dialogue and cooperation with countries of origin, transit of migrants. And this is crucial to have a dialogue with them to increase ways of legal migration, but also to fight the trafficking networks that profit so ruthlessly on people's distress. We do need to open ways for more regular migration. To offer legal ways to come to EU will reduce the number of people who put themselves at the hand of smugglers and traffickers. Here, Member States much, much, uh, do much more to resettle people in need of asylum and international protection. I call for all Member States to do more when it comes to resettlement and to work with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees to identify the most vulnerable people in conflicts such as Syria and bring them safely uh, to Europe. We also need to discuss and identify other ways for refugees to be sheltered. Possibilities of humanitarian visas can be explored, as well as possibilities in specific cases to ask for asylum outside the EU territory. We need to change our approach towards migration. Uh, this restrictive approach has proven its limit. We need to, to move towards openness, solidarity, sharing of responsibility and a true European response. Uh, thank you very much for your kind attention.